mounting geopolitical tensions over Iran's nuclear ambitions, the potential for a strong hurricane season, and the upcoming driving season, there seems to be no near-term solution to higher oil costs and thus further political pressure to invest in alternative energy sources. President Bush recently announced that alternative fuels were the solution to supplementing U.S. energy requirements. He also inked the Renewable Fuels Standard of the Energy Policy Act of 2005, a measure that calls for the production and use of renewable energy to be increased to 7.5 billion gallons by 2012. Further pressure is being exerted at the state level. California Governor Schwarzenegger recently implemented a cut in the carbon content of motor vehicle fuels, while governors of 37 states prepared to push for a new federal rule to require greater use of ethanol fuel. On a worldwide scale, President Bush met with the President of Brazil for the second time in a month. The two met last Saturday at the Camp David presidential retreat, where it was widely expected that the 54-cent tariff imposed on Brazilian ethanol would be removed near term. If not, Brazil has already warned that ethanol will not gain the needed traction. On the other hand, if successfully removed, the removal of the tariff could help wean the United States off of foreign oil dependency. With growing ethanol demand, keep an eye on corn, sugar, and cellulosic ethanol-related companies. Cellulosic ethanol, for example, uses organic materials such as switchgrass, wood, chips, and sawdust to produce alternative fuel while yielding a greater net energy benefit than corn-based ethanol. There's even a big push towards cellulosic opportunities as the U.S. Department of Energy moves to invest $385 million into six biorefineries over the next four years. When up and running, these refineries are expected to produce more than 130 gallons of cellulosic ethanol per year. Companies to watch include Blue Fire Ethanol, symbol BFRE.PK, and Xethanol Corporation, symbol XNL. Sugar companies to watch on higher demand for sugar-based ethanol include Imperial Sugar, IPSU. As for corn, according to the Wall Street Journal, U.S. farmers are preparing to plant more corn than they have in decades, increasing spending on seed and fertilizer. Accordingly, we recommend watching companies like Monsanto, symbol MON on the New York Stock Exchange, a major supplier of corn seed to farmers, and Terra Nitrogen, symbol TNH, which produces nitrogen fertilizer. Both sectors will experience substantial demand, surges created by the ethanol boom. I'm Ian Cooper, and that's your Hot Stock Pick of the Week.